One piece. <clears throat> One Piece. One, 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 one. Do you have a gate on your mic? Uh, uh, one Piece. The last chapter of One Piece. The, la the last chapter for, for three while. weeks, yeah. man. It's a drought. <laughs> Doesn't that sound crazy saying that? The last chapter of One Piece. Yeah, I'm going to have to start whipping out the like the crazy videos, you know? Yeah, imagine if, imagine if that was the last chapter. Like, if one, 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 one was the last chapter of One Piece. That was it. Like, we ended off with this like this cliffhanger? That's it. And then Luffy goes upset. on to become the greatest pirate the world has ever known. Uh, the ancient robot <laughs> did this crazy things you're an egghead loopy found the one piece and emu was defeated oh if like, dang, okay. if you want to find out the rest of it you gotta go find it you gotta go search for it yeah <laughs> leave it up to your imagination would you go search for it no i would neither i, Maybe I like, if it's like in the like, guessing it's, games but no nah. if it's in uh proximity yeah like if it's like pokemon go like a mile radius sure yeah. sure sure i'll go outside i'll go outside yeah you know but if it's like i gotta go to I don't know. new zealand bangladesh <laughs> Bangladesh, that's so random. What's up, One Piece crew? It's your boy BDA, and I've got something exciting to share with you today. Thanks to our awesome sponsor, HelloFresh, meal time just got a whole lot better. So let's dive right in. Now, you know I love my food, and HelloFresh's recipes are absolutely delicious. With 40 recipes and over 100 seasonal and convenience items to choose from each week, they keep my taste buds on their toes. From mouth-watering pineapple chicken tacos to flavorful falafel power bowls, but it's not just about the taste. No, HelloFresh takes the hassle out of meal time by delivering pre portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your door no more endless supermarket runs or checkout lines especially now in certain places where they have a no bag policy where you have to bring your own bag i mean come on with hellofresh you can spend more time enjoying the new year and here's something awesome this time of year everyone's looking to revamp their eating habits and start the year on the right track hellofresh is there to be your partner for a wholesome 2024 with health forward options like calorie smart and protein smart recipes plus go to the link below and use my code b BDA Law 16 FM and receive 16 free meals plus free dessert for life while the subscription is active. Guys, now's the perfect time to start the year outright. Let's not mess this up. Let's dominate 2024 with HelloFresh. We're at a place now where we have the Gorose, like the actual Gorose. And the, the world leaders. The world leaders have transformed and they're fighting against the Straw Hats. I didn't think we'd see this anytime soon. So to see this right now, I think some, honestly, I think some people are taking it for granted. I even think I am, to be honest. Like, you know, when you said that, I was like, damn, like, you're right, man. I think maybe I am as well. Why are we doing that? 21 years of hype, right? Like, we heard about these guys before Kaido. Yeah, they were like pre-time skip early on. Like, early, early. Yeah. Like, this was when Kaido was still like, what? Like, some bumbling guy. Do you remember just the chapter? A silhouette. I don't remember the chapter. I, I, I looked at it recently, but I remember it was like 21 years ago or some, something ridiculous. Okay, over under two chapter... 250 either before 250 or right after i don't know why 278 is coming to my mind 278 okay know. so not bad not 233 is when they were first i, in I felt like the it was two something okay that's good that's good okay yes yeah, so they've been around for a while and now and we're... here they are and they're they're freaking yokai man <laughs> so you don't think they're devil fruit users uh personally no i think it transcends devil fruits or it's just like adjacent to devil fruits I, I think the powers are similar but they're slightly different slightly altered to fit like whatever the celestial dragons or gorosei needs because i, I feel like they, there's such a stigma against devil fruits in the world government that i i, I feel like they wouldn't give the gorosei all zoan devil fruits I feel like it's kind of strange. Well, I think One Piece has gone through like this thing where it's like meta. Where yeah. It feels like we had our Paramecia run. We had our Logia run. And now we're kind of in the Zoan part of the story where the ancient mythical Zoans, those are kind of the best fruits now. And yeah. recently didn't Oda say something about that where Oda somewhat confirmed uh, mythical Zoans are pretty damn good as well. Was it when... Um, Road to Lafayette, he Valley said that one. they had Paramecia... Pa oh. Remember God Valley when Ivankov? Yeah. They were about to, well, they were talking about Kaido's fruit. If I had to rank them as far as the best fruit categories, right now it's mythical zones are probably, or zones. Number one. Number one. When we think about the mythical I'd say zones so. I mean, got revealed recently. Their awakening is good. But they have an awakening. For Logia, we don't even know about anything with the awakening. I thought we had seen it already in this arc, but, well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, mythical zone awakenings are insane. Like, I mean, look at Rob Lucci, right? <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? Wait, wait, why are you laughing? <laughs> what did I get? What? I felt like it was. Why, like, why'd you bust up? I felt like you've been waiting to just get Rob Lucci. We'll talk about Rob Lucci. We'll talk about Rob. All right, Rick, all, right. all right. Sorry, sorry. I jumped the gun <laughs> on that one. <laughs> it's like, man, they're like, you're Rob Lucci. I just, I just couldn't wait for that. It's been a while since we've talked about Rob Lucci, you know? 
Yeah, it's been, you know, it's been a few weeks. Gorsei forms. Can you rank them? Oh, easily. That's the worst for you. The best one right here. Itsumare, number one. The bird. Not gonna lie, he's growing number on me. Number two? Yeah, it's growing on me, yeah. dude. Uh, number two, this is gonna sound uh, a little bit hot. Jew Peter. I really like worms, dude. That's, that's interesting. Why, wait, why do you like worms? Like all types of worms or just... So here in Oklahoma, we use a lot of worms or bait for like catfish uh... and bass. So like I, I grew up with a lot of worms. I never dissected them, unfortunately. So, you know, I, I'm not used to them. Uh, but, and I say that because last chapter, when I saw Jupiter get his head chopped off, I was like, yo, like, how's he going to survive this? You know, like without regeneration. And then people were like, yo, Sai, worms, uh, they can survive. I'm like, damn, I didn't know that. I feel like Jupiter is consensus at the bottom for a lot of people. Really? Yeah. I think people that like Dune, they really like Jupiter. Um, I hate Dune, but I love Jupiter. I think that's a hotter take. That's a hot take. I know. You wait. You watch one and two, or just one? I just watch one. I I saw clips of two. I saw the fight scenes of two, but it doesn't move me, man. What came first, doing a Star Wars? They might be like in the same the same era. I wouldn't be surprised if there is some inclination to their uh, titles as well. Because Jupiter, he's a worm, but he's also the god of agriculture. And it's right. like, yeah, worms are kind of a pest, dude. Like you know, you like if you go to a farmer, they're like, yo, worms are the worst. Really? Yeah, they're they're like top five. You know, if you had a power scale worms against your crops top five threat um let me guess one would be flying insects flying insects yeah i just categorize them like that i generalize them so like what, what like what, what was considered a flying insect I was gonna say, I was gonna say mosquitoes. <laughs> I thought of mosquitoes are like mosquitoes affect crops. Yeah, wait, wait. dude, I don't remember, man. Dude, I haven't, I haven't been on a farm in six years, dude. Yo, if they have gun free zones, why don't we have free zones? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna stop them. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Let's put up some posters, man. That'll stop. That'll stop everything, right? Oh yeah. Well, real quick. My least favorite Gorosei, mm. Warkuri. Mm. Boars are lame. Dude, he's boring, man. Literally boring, because he's a boar. Pun, pun. He's a well, boar, I mean, dude. We, a, saw, that, we a, saw that at Wano. I love Lion King, so I can't... I hate Lion King. Why? Rob, your guy. What do you, what do you have to say? That's your My guy. My guy. You know, you guys might know me as the, the resident Rob Lucci fan. I, I struggle between Rob Lucci and Akainu on a day-to-day -day basis, but this chapter, man... It's, it's everything a Rob Lucci fan could expect. I was reading the spoilers and I was like, yo, did I write this chapter? Are the leakers lying? <laughs> you know, like, like did, did they make this out to me? Like, what's going on here? Like, I didn't think Rob Lucci would be treated with this much respect. I thought that Rob Lucci would lose to Zoro last chapter. And he did. You know, he, he lost this fight, in my opinion. But he lost in a very stoic way. Zoro wanted to throw one more hit, you know? Like, Rob Lucci would have taken it. He would have lost, in my opinion. But I think as a Rob Lucci fan, as a fan of villains who knows that they have to lose, right? Like, every villain has to lose before Luffy and the crew. I think I that like, he lost in one of the best ways. It's just like people don't understand that. It's just, it's not necessarily about somebody losing because everybody's going to lose against the main characters. Everybody's going to lose. Know? It's just about how they lose. Somebody asks, who did it better, Rob Lucci or Whitebeard? <laughs> who did it better, Rob Lucci or Whitebeard? Rob, he tanks. I don't want to say tank. Tank is a crazy word to say here. He withstands, yeah. endures Zoro's attack. He endured it. Right? He endures Zoro's attack. And Zoro's like, yo, what? He's still standing? Okay, if I had to ask you, like, what difficulty was this fight for Zoro? I would say mid to high. Yeah, I'm there too. Yeah, mid to high. Mid yeah, to high. yeah. Like, it, it wasn't a one shot. No, that's for sure. No. A, a one shot is very different, right? Like, like a one shot is you show up, you get one shot, you're done. Like, like they they've been clashing for a minute. Like, what we had Luchi or we had Luffy versus Kizaru one, we had Luffy versus Kizaru two, and then Luffy versus Saturn, all while this fight is happening. Yeah, Rob like, this Luchi's fight lasted a down. while. He's been holding down. So shout out to Rob Lucci. Um, I think yeah, the stocks are man. up, up. I know for the top thirty for this year, for this year, definitely going to be a lot of people's top. 20 considering i think a lot of people are now scaling him towards like commanders spoiler alert i typically root for the villains or the antagonists just because it makes the stories more interesting like i think more often than not if an antagonist is really good the movie is really good or the story is really good or whatever Damn, the medium dude. is why do you want a bad villain right you, need like, a good you villain. want you want great villains to make your protagonist look better jimbei coming in and helping him i'm not too mad at it because this was jimbei this is jimbei's role right he's like yeah he's logical yeah he's the uncle he's like yo we gotta go so i'm not mad at jimbei doing this some people are like yo gives or his w but jimbei basically saying yo, you already got it like it's it's over you know 
than Jim. It's done. Something that, that people didn't realize is that Jim Bay, when he attacked Rob Lucci, it was basically a fake out. Ah, so this attack, right? The 5,000 brick fist, it looks like a fake out, but I, I think it's a real attack. You think it really hit him? Do you think it hit him, though? I think it hit him, but I think Rob Lucci didn't move, though. Oh, my God. Is that Rob yeah. Lucci bias? I don't, dude, I don't know, man. Somebody pointed out the trees. They said, yo, Rob Lucci, if you look at the trees when Jimbe uses the fist attack, the trees are still in the background when Rob Lucci's there. Like, and then Rob Lucci's blocking. Like, you see the wind gust. I think Jimbe did hit Rob Lucci, but Rob Lucci being the Chad that he is, didn't get knocked back. It, it is Rob Lucci biased because I like the character, but I like to think in my head, this is logical. Okay. I'm here for it. Okay, you changed my mind. Yeah. I'm looking at the trees and the trees are well i mean i don't I, it, it feels like he like kind of withstood it it feels like he was still because he went out of his zone form yeah like if, if we're already giving him him like not like falling down giving him the jimbe attack too it's not that crazy it's not that crazy <laughs> okay like i i wish the gorosei just got one hit in you know like i i feel like what we're missing from the gorosei is luffy saying that wow these guys are strong wow like they're powerful. I, I feel like that's what we're missing because so far Saturn, he's tried to attack Luffy many times and he's just missed. Sanji and Frankie countered him. Like, I, I don't think he looks bad. I just don't think he looks good. Think about but it I, though. Imagine yeah, I don't know. if yeah. you sat here for eight days and then it then like, yo, let's go for a walk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're trying to compare. You're trying to compare these guys in the throne room to like coming outside, yeah. Or not like, even like just somebody in the touching throne grass. Room. It's like when's the last time you think they transformed and fought? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Probably 800 years, no? I have stopped taking yeah. Luffy seriously, which which is the point, right? Like yeah. we don't take him seriously anymore. Yeah. He's kind of a meme. Like the only time I take Luffy seriously at this point is when he runs out of Gear Fifth. Because when he runs out, I'm like, okay, like now we have to worry. Now but like we're back when to he's normal. in gear fifth, yeah, yeah. Like when he's in gear fifth, it's like okay, he can't die. Like Luffy, yeah, he ate Kizaru's attack back in some early chapters. You know, he can just eat light. He can do whatever he wants to in regards to. There have are some you, limitations, I guess. But have you seen what people have been saying though? What they said, uh, three Gorose members can't do anything to Luffy, but Kizaru made Luffy go out of gear fifth. He lasted that long. Well, people are gonna say, well, he didn't make Luffy go out of gear fifth. Is that he just outlasted him? A lot of people don't use endurance as a way to to win a fight. I think people are going to look at it that way. And the Gorosei, say, I, I don't think they're great fighters at this point. I think if anything, maybe Drew Peter still is. They're good fighters. They're great. They're pretty good fighters. The problem is they're old for one. And secondly, they're, we're going to presume immortal, right? And if I'm immortal, yeah. like I don't, why, I, why dodge? You know, I'm going to regen anyway. So it's hard to gauge them because if they were not immortal, how strong are they? But you can't gauge that because every time we've seen them, they're basically getting cut and, and sliced and they just regen. So now it's a part of their fighting style. Also for War Curie, he can turn his tusks into blades. Out of nowhere. brings up the question of experimentation because we know for a fact that experimenting experimentation was going on because Ginny, she was experimented on. So what if the Goro say there are, they are successful experiments. You war Shuri can honestly use the devil food ability of Daz Bones because something that they were trying to do with Bonnie was basically use a part of the fruit and give her a section of it so that they could use multiple or give her fruit to multiple people. Obviously it failed with her, right? She ended up just getting the fruit anyway, but what if they figured out a way, I guess, other than green blood to to use different abilities um, like Warcher is using. What do you think about that? I never thought about that. <laughs> no, I like I like that a lot. And I'll, and I'll say why here in a second. But initially, when I saw Wakiti rip, whip out the uh, the blades for Tusk, yeah. I thought that this was imagination powers. He imagined it like, hey, I can do this, so I'm going to do it. Mm. That's how I saw it at first. But now that you say that, it makes a lot of sense because Saturn, later on... <laughs> He whips out these poison balls out of his mouth. And it's different and from it's, his, the other ones he had, no? It's different, but it's the exact same as what Magellan does in Impel Down. Ooh. Magellan, he puckers his lips and he's like, and then he shoots out poison balls. So, and it's the exact same attack, so, except for, or, you know, minus the explosion, yeah, of course. So, I mean, but, that could be an application of another devil fruit. Yeah, they, But this is exactly. definitely an experiment they were working on, pulling from devil fruits and main, like retaining the ability while being able to distribute it amongst other people. So, yeah, this would be interesting if the Gorosei are 
essentially experiments that were successful and they can use a bunch of different abilities where they're like i guess like blackbeard but even more d dangerous because they can use even more so i guess there's limitation because you can't awaken all these abilities but at this point do awakenings really matter ah for durability they matter when they matter for, for, for zoans that's it for zoans that's what i'm saying oh like it seems like zoans are running away with this thing because for the most i mean awakenings matter right because awakening was the reason why law and kid were able to be big mom and honestly how luffy was able to be kaido but is that something you can really track do we expect going forward all these other characters to be awakened i feel like that's the limit right or you need to be able to awaken to even send a chance against these guys yeah yeah that's just how it is i think it's clear kizaru is conflicted he has other issues going on this is not just about strength here no dude he says my wounds run deep very deep like you can say that he's hurt by luffy i don't think anybody's arguing against that but mental wounds are always uh more painful than physical wounds yeah, something that we talk, they talk about in the story about like mentality and how it affects your fighting, etc. So he's our will. I, I think it's at some point we have to have a separate separate conversation about him because it's sad. It really is. Yeah. Now in the midst of everything, the the Iron Giant finally moved. I can't believe you went through with it, man. Yeah, like I. Yeah, that's the thing. Honestly, like, you, like you felt conflicted before I you thought, did I it. I thought he wouldn't do it. Yeah, because remember he was covering his eyes and he didn't want to do it like he, dude he had a flashback he killed the vegaforce one who isn't even alive and the dude was like over here having flashbacks like he wasn't feeling good man yeah he's going through it i feel bad for him a little bit would you quit before killing my friend at this point you're kind of committed like you have to stay a part of the marines yeah, like you no, can't really i can't leave now i can't really do much friend. like i'm sure people he's going to think about it but then he just be out kiji that's why i think he stays with the bitterness and just some of the guilt that he'd have the iron giant is this finally guy. making its move and it says after way, 30 chapters the crazy part is it's way bigger than a giant but it's not on, not the only thing right it's just like a titan titan in the middle of the of an inferno and it's also growling joy boy forgive me do you think he's actually growling there's like a gurgle yeah, like robot noises yeah. like i think we gotta have a conversation about joy boy at some point i don't know what's up no, with the voice entry man nobody nobody like, came joy through boy. for joy boy huh nobody did man <laughs> like the robot zunisha joy boy <laughs> didn't even show up to, to what like the poseidon back then right. like everybody's just failing letter? each other it's yeah. like chinese telephone yeah, it's just like, yo, forgive me, bro. Seems like everybody flaked that night and then everything just went to shit, you know? Yeah, it's like a, it's like the raid on Onigashima, right? Like if Luf if Luffy never showed up. Or if Kinemon didn't give him the wrong thing. Yeah. You know? It's like, bro, where, where like, was everybody? Forgive me. Yeah, I, I mean, I think at this point, Oda is building the the flashback um, in regards to Joy Boy and what happened because now it's like, bro, what what happened? Why is everybody asking for forgiveness? I mean, Joy Boy asked Poseidon for forgiveness. Everybody seemingly turned away from their, their duty. Somebody that asked the question, like, does that mean Joy Boy existed 200 years ago when the Iron Giant moved on Mary Joa? I was thinking the Iron Giant, when it moved on Mary Joa, is probably using, moving off of re reserves however it did move when the fishmen went to Mary Joa when they were you know accepted as one of them so could that be a trigger it's a hard one like they said that the sun god Nika fruit hasn't been awakened in 800 years yeah because my theory is that like maybe it did awaken for like a brief moment and that's what the ancient robot woke up but i don't even know anymore yeah maybe it is reserves maybe he was trying to avenge joy boy but he failed yeah yeah that's what i'm thinking but, but like why 200 years later you know like why 600 years later that's why it's like are the fishmen involved because the thing is they could just be it could just be coincidence you know the ancient robot woke up right when the fishmen got right Right. It's like, yeah. okay, okay. Do you think the robot's stronger than the Gorosei? 1v1? I think it's the same thing where they're not going to know how to deal with it because it's ancient tech technology, right? So you don't know how to hurt yeah. it. You don't know how to combat the weaponry. It's just, you just don't know. I think that that's what may happen. Fortunately, unfortunately, this is the chapter Oda left us off with. No chapter for... I think the next chapter is the 22nd of April, something like that. Something crazy. Damn. You got like a month with no chapter. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Dory and Brogy, they consider them running from the Gorsei a win. Sound like they said, hey, <laughs> we may be running, but this is still a victory. And they're all smiling, dude. Like, that's crazy. Imagine facing the Gorsei and then you walk away smiling. Has that Joy Boy that's influence, crazy. bro? Wait, 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 wait. We didn't talk about the Vice Admirals. Yeah, I kind of just skipped over them on purpose. Wait, why? Wait, what? 